The Transport Authority put out a message from them social media that they would like to advise the public that effective August 16, which is today, taxi fare gone up 15%. A joke thing that man, I bet Mr. still go call the country dollar from people because I don't know where people are going to steal and waste we'll from. Government are use people. That's the danger about life. So them can't see themselves and know say, when they must take risk, them take a hundred percent. So the, who is them? The whole way we are gonna meet a hell. Have a good day. Take a cover for me. Right now when you're on a way and stop it. Uh, and stop it, 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 uh, and stop it. So we have a few questions we have to ask you now. When was the last time you hear any leader of the country come out and say, as the leader of the country, I am proposing a peer cut for myself as the prime minister and the members of cabinet so that that funds can then be channeled into an area that it could be used to benefit the people and benefit the country when was the last time you hear any prime minister come out and say that i personally haven't heard it have you want to tell me down below in the comment section i can't remember ever hearing a politician come out and say them are gonna take a peer cut so that the money they cause, remember, you know, politicians get pay good, whole heap of money. Feed them pay always a race. But, I'm going to tell you what I can remember hearing though. I heard the price of gas going up. I talk about cooking gas and also gas for your car going up. I hear the price of groceries going up. Meaning the food where people need to eat to survive keep on going up. Rent keep going up. But you know what go up? People's salary. And that is the reason why you hear Jamaicans crying out right now. No, imagine. In a time like this, when most people now go work because I was going with them whole pandemic thing and the lockdown and all of this, right? Most people now have a job because of that as well, right? Now you're going to hear say, taxi fear I go up 15%. No wonder why you hear the brother in the video say, yo, you hear me, him still have charge people on the same way because him don't know where people will find extra money from. And I agree with him. Now, people, this brother right here says a security guard and him have a few questions where he wants to put forward. Take a listen to him. M Mr. Andrew, come here, come here, come, come here. You're in your administration. Come, come right over here. So, let me fix it here, good. So, don't worry, it's in front of me. Yeah, man, right? So, you are your administration. I want to talk to you a little bit. You know. I'm not here for disrespect. I'm just make that clear. And I, I will never do such thing. I'm not here for people on the whole. No matter your position in your class. When you know, I make a you know, decision, them, you know, think about the lower class of people them, who actually can't afford certain things. Because I can't really understand why in the, I know, I know, even if you say in the middle of the pandemic, because we don't know when this thing is done. No raise up it all power. Flow are gone up. Something where they in a basically everything where everybody cook or eat. Hmm? So it all raise just after the bread gone up. You know say one one loaf of bread after four hundred and fifty dollars? You, you didn't know that? Hmm? So you can't even use a nanny right now buy a loaf of bread and something else back at it. You just have to buy the loaf of bread alone. Or just go back to way back in the days if you go buy a quarter bread or half a bread in a paper bag. Eh? No forward, no so no one go. So how no go back with you in a life, brother? Me not understand that something. Me, not, me can't understand. You know, say you have people in Jamaica where I uh, get like $8,000 a week for them pay. And then me I talk about my figure work Monday to Saturday. You know what I want to do to you and your administration? Eh? You and your team where you make them all the decisions. You know what I, what I want to do to you? Know? I want to put you down in the same place you call the ghetto slash garrison. With that same eight thousand dollar for one week, I see how oh, no survive. Um, you know when more started to more started on a Friday night, I more get two hungry belly pit me. Not me not even get three or four of them. I get two hungry pit one, three year old one and one ten year old one. And I you alone as a single father. And for the woman them in the administration them them alone as a single mother. And I have a fine. They look a piece of fry fry whatever they forget the pit on the Friday night. And they sat there, they boil, boil a nice pot of soup and something. And then the Sunday they have to find the, 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 the rice and peas and the whatever. I understand that Monday morning I forgot to work out of that semi toast. You know what I want to catch you to? I want to give you a, 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 a gas pan. A gas where I got done pan the Sunday. You have to find money for buy back. And I want to put you in one partner too. 
Just to try if you survive and see oh you 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 live on that eight thousand dollar for go back and work for the other week. Hmm? I don't know. I think about raising people pay. Hmm? In not this year 2021 now go raise pay. We now go raise bus pay now, eh? Now what if you find hundred and fifty dollar from now for left and Spanish town now if you come out never if you come out half a tree and the cost of man then done a kill we already. I take 150 for if you come half a tree already. Hmm? How, how we are gonna manage? So I feel like he makes some valid points though. Who don't agree with him? Who don't think he's done yet? He's not done yet because he make a part two to the video. See part two, yeah. So part two was very much recommended. So may I say to you, Mr. Andrew, you are your administration and the opposition them. Because them have some talk in it. The, the few them who have seat or left in a the parliament, them have um talk left in it. You understand? So me Nevo put in the bills them where I'll come back at that, you know. Cause remember say to do to Corona online class are going so everybody have to take internet and a five thousand ad that a month. So you know say you have to go put on a uh, thousand ad a week out of that eight thousand dollar there, you know. Fee try make up fee when the internet bill come back and pay because you want your child or child ward for the for online class. You understand? I mean, I mention the light bill yet, I mean, I mention the water bill yet. So, you don't really have to sit down and look in on the celebrate that. You can't raise up so much something and then the, the PNR raise. The PNR is stagnant, just stuck at one part of one place around the so from them. We'll be a long time there and now move, brother. That don't look good. That can't look good. And when I read the comment section, I see people say that 500 other that they might buy a loaf of bread for. Andrew, that can't look good. You and your team. Like you are on the country, you have other people in the comment section that say, yo, I know you make the decision, but you are the man who, if you not say, eh, hey, he can't go. Because at the end of the day, you have to say, yo, alright, boom. Just like how you make wearing mass mandatory, or you can't lock up people for mass, you can't make certain things stop, brother. We are all humans. You can't do something, yeah, man. You have to raise the pay to combat them something, yeah. You understand me? You have to think about the people who live day to day. You can't just think about the people who they up there so who them something are not affect. And then again, I ask the question if you know say five hundred dollar can't buy a loaf of bread or nothing else. But then again, you don't know because you have a people who go to the supermarket for you. And you just give them one card or one check and then just go and buy everything. You understand? And them don't even shop in the little shop them don't so with we. You understand? So you don't go know them something there. We don't have to come down to people level in order to understand how people are living in order to run the country a better brother. Again, as I say, I don't come to disrespect you or not, I just make my voice be heard because it's serious, it's serious bad brother. It's well, well serious, it doesn't look good. It can't look good brother. So, right now, I don't mind you see this and do something about it. I don't beg you no money, I just make that clear. I mm don't -mm. beg you no money because I have a job. But at the end of the day, the job I have and the wallet pass up them we go sky high. The little people I get can't really do nothing that much. You understand because I have a child to take care of. And we have bills to pay. For one pitney, me have one. I have to say I have two or one. Have. But what about those who have three and four pitney? And one all go to the belly and father go to the jail. Now remember me tell you that the price of groceries constantly going up, right? And me personally, I try to figure out what them except poor people fit do. Because if your p and go up, but yet still taxi fare and bus fare arrears and grocery arrears, what people are going to do? But me never give you no, a perfect description of how much the price is increasing. But the brother here, I tell you the exact price of each item. Listen him. You have a prime minister and journalists. How are you and Dr. Nigel Clark? Implement a thing called food security to make sure so the people in your country can't afford food. You have to understand what I go on, Prime Minister. You can't make a food price. I run where? Look for a chicken back. Sit down for $200. Look for a tin mackerel. Ghana 140. Look for a flour. Same to a pound. Look for a rice. Eight to a pound. Look for a sugar. 140 to a pack. Look for oil, eat la jill. Prime Minister and Joe Wallace, we are call out to you. One bread at four hundred dollars, one sardine at two fifty. We need food security. Protect the fucking food in Jamaica. That means that you them can't afford food. Prime Minister and Joe Wallace.
protect the food in a Jamaica so the few them can afford food. Unstoppable family, honestly, me no know what gonna happen next, you know. But whichever direction it are heading, it's not a good look. You know, agree? More want to talk to me down below in the comment section. And as a matter of fact, more want you tell me if you feel like there can be a solution to the things that we Jamaica face right now. Price increase, lockdown, violet. You know what? I'm not even going to get into it. Talk to me down below in the comment section. And let me hear what you think could be the solution. Zane, watch ya. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely if this is your first time here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Once we upload a video, you will get notified. No matter what, don't make nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we're unstoppable.